In this video, I will show you how to get any name, as well as add cool symbols to your gamer tag in Fortnite, Apex, Valorant, etc. My first tip is to just copy and paste this blank space in the description. This is actually a letter in another alphabet, but it appears invisible when you copy and paste it. You can copy and paste this as many times as you want, between words in your name or after your name. The only problem I have with this though, is that it makes your name look smaller in certain games, mainly due to the space the invisible character takes up. The next thing you can copy and paste are Cyrillic characters. These letters are actually used in countries near Russia and they look almost identical to English characters, at least most of them. Take a look at how easily I got this short name just by copy and pasting and testing the first two methods. Some names will still be taken, but you can keep testing and replacing letters until you can get the name. There's also a good website if you want a different font like this. Just go to Lingo Jam. It makes it fancy and even adds emojis. It's a great way if you want to just enter your name and get a lot of options. I can see a lot of people using this because of its ease of use. They even add emojis on some of them. Next, let's look at some cool symbols. You might have seen this smiley face, but it's actually a Japanese character. I got this from a website called tobyses.com. It has tons of symbols from smileys to crowns. It's a great way to spice up your name if it's taken or if you just want to. But unfortunately, some games like Rocket League put unknown characters when you add these. But one good site I use is megacooltext.com. I will link all of this down below, by the way. This site's text is applicable to almost every game. I even tried doing the F word and it somehow worked in Valorant. Now I don't recommend using this to add curse words into your name, but hey, if that's what you want to do, here's just another option. If you're still stuck on what you should do, I would say just get a new gamer tag altogether. I have lots of videos on how to get them, and I even have a 100 name list of non-taking gamer tags, also linked in the description. Do you like gaming news, tips, and other videos like this? Subscribe for more. I post at least once a week, and thanks for watching.